Hey up guys, welcome back to another video. This is Nia Automator, my platinum walkthrough for this, and we're gonna get platinum in under three hours. Now, to begin with, you do need to play the prologue for about seven minutes, and it's quite long, so I'll talk a bit during that. So, first of all, guys, obviously, new game, and you wanna go on easy. Obviously, you wanna make it as easy as it can be. Yeah, so select easy difficulty, and you'll see when you select easy, you'll get this message. You wanna say yes, you want to use all the auto chips that it asks you. Basically, what, what they do, is you can press a button and the game attacks for you. I know it's a sort of baby mode for little babies like me and anyone that wants to do something similar to what I'm going to show you, but it will make the platinum a lot easier and you don't have to use it. I mean, if you want to actually play the battles yourself, you can do that just for purposes of getting platinum as easy and as quick as possible, guys. We're going to leave that on. So easy. Say so yes, you want to make sure the auto chips are active and yeah, you got this prologue So this prologue to begin it lasts about seven minutes and you cannot skip this and What's gonna happen? I'm not gonna explain the prologue guys. It's not Difficult. I'm sure you can see what's going on and you can work it out for yourself Um, so yeah seven minutes prologue and you get to this sort of little boss at the start of the prologue and afterwards you can stand in a certain place and you input some button commands. If you remember, similar to the, the games on the cheats on the classic games like on the Super Nintendo and the uh, Mega Drive or Genesis, if you want to call it that, where you input certain button a certain button combination and it enables the cheat. Well, there's one of them in this, and I think it's a developer. Is it Platinum Games or something? I'm not sure if they're a developer or the publisher, but um, yeah, because I've not really played Nier before before this, but. They've put a cheat in all of their games, I think, since Bayonetta 2 or something, where you have to input a certain button command and it's actually the sequence of the logo, I believe. You input that button command in a certain place and it like enables a sort of big cheat mode. And on this game, it unlocks every single chapter for you. Unlocks every single chapter. And what that, what that will let us do is it lets us select each chapter from chapter select on the main menu and we can just start at any point in the game which we want to and that's how we get platinum really fast and and yeah not finished yet there's also a trophy shop can you believe that there's a shop in this game where you can buy trophies yeah when I read about this for the first time I, I didn't believe it I, I didn't believe it at first either there's a shop where you can literally buy trophies for the game PlayStation trophies yeah I know that it's so weird but combine that with the chapter select, which we unlock with the cheat, and it lets you get all the trophies really fast. The trophy shop, it only lets you buy like misc trophies or grinding trophies or any, basically any um, different trophies to story. Because the story trophies, you can only trigger them by playing the game and obviously passing by the point where they trigger in the game. It's only then once which a trophy shop can't trigger for you. So, with chapter select, it lets us select specific chapters, and there's a lot, guys. The chapters, they're all broken down. There's probably all together. I can't, I can't even think how many there is. I mean, there's about 18 chapters or something, I believe. Yeah, it's about 18 chapters, maybe a bit more. But each chapter has like five or more, five more or less sort of sub chapters inside them, and you can select each of them. So you can imagine how many there is. So even with chapter select, it can be quite difficult just trying to work out where trophies will pop. And also, there are some enemies in this game which you need to defeat for some of the later story trophies, which are too high level. Basically, if you do chapter select, you'll be at level zero. You'll be at level zero, and. The enemies which you have to defeat to get the platinum, they're like level 50 plus and you'll do zero damage so it's like impossible to progress. So you do have to sort of, you can't just jump into this with chapter select and a trophy shop and get platinum really easy. It does take a bit of planning guys. And that's what this video is here for, that's what I'm here for. And yeah, that's quite a big intro from me. But like I say, we've got to watch this and I did want to show you the prologue. I hope I haven't bored you to death, I hope you're still listening. 
and so once you get there it's just after this section there's like a little boss fight just after this section it's literally a m one or two minutes away and what I'll do I'll put the button command and I'll put it on screen for you guys as well um, I'm actually I recorded this a few weeks ago and hold on I've got a piece of paper somewhere where I've noted everything down and yes I've got everything right down guys in my notepad and I can tell you exactly what chapters we do when yeah so reference if you want specifics I'm gonna put everything in the description I'm gonna tell you where where each story trophy will trigger what chapter you need to load for that and how we farm basically the sort of route I guess I go so first of all what I'm doing here guys I'm just changing the weapon just because this one does a bit more damage to you that does attack 300 to 330 but I'm still leaving on my auto chips with L2 because that makes the game attack for me so yeah L2 auto chips on so I'm not actually controlling the well you have to get near to the enemy it doesn't just auto lock onto the enemy from far away and start attacking you have to be within probably about 15 feet or something for you to start automatically attacking it but as you can see here just killing them enemies I'm grabbing all this loot they drops so you will need some of that later it doesn't matter what, what you get because it is sort of randomised but um, I know what we're getting and where we get it. So here it is and I have no idea what his name was. I do not read near what that language was. Near Nice? Near Nish? I do not read that. So yeah I've got my notepad here and um, yeah so after this boss I'm not doing this by the way I'm just letting the auto chips do the magic for me. Yeah, I'll be telling you everything we need to do along the way. If I need to pause it, because when I recorded this, I recorded it separately to commentary. I just went through the game quickly. And I do actually get plat. This video is 1 hour 50, but it takes me 2 hours 30 to get platinum. I'm currently um, first on leaderboards on PSN profiles. But you can get a bit quicker, because I did actually have to pause the game 15 minutes. So, and there are a few things here I just do to make it easier. So you run in front of these two barrels, it's got to be after that fight guys. If you progress into factory, it'll be too late. Come in between these two, these six barrels, stand in between them, hold R2, hold R2, and then that's when you have to press a button command, which I'm putting on screen for you guys. Yeah, so you go into there, hold R2, and then input the button combination that I'm going to put on screen for you guys. It's actually up, you hold R2 and up, down, up, right, left, square, circle, triangle, X. Yeah, that button combination, guys, that's what you need to do. But I'll put it on screen. So after that, make sure you save your game. When it asks you to save your game, save it. And at the end, guys, when it asks you if you want to say something to anyone, make sure you say no, otherwise it will delete your save game. Very, very important. Just save your game, make sure you save it, and then come down here, and we're going to chapter 10, 05-01 chapter 10 05-01 guys you'll find out what we're doing on there in a minute like I say I've, I've planned all this out I've planned it all out so 10 05-01 to begin with after we've done the chapter select you just quit the title screen and basically this is one of the first ending trophies we're doing now A and B the reason I'm doing A and B first is because some things do not become accessible or in the game until you've actually got these two endings. So you get that trophy, one battle ends, you'll be asked about saving again and you get, yeah, that little message. And you can save your game. Always save your game again. And you see it will say ending A. Yes, yeah, so that's ending A, guys. By the way, of course you see I'm skipping all the cutscenes. If you actually want to play this, you could actually use a video just to get overpowered, by the way. Yeah, you could use this to get overpowered. Um, so chapter select again, 10.05-02. So 10.05-02 next, guys. The beginning of battle. Yeah, you could use this to get overpowered. Um, we're not doing the trick yet. We'll be doing it in a few minutes. The trick what I do to get overpowered. And you could do this cheat get overpowered and then start from the very first chapter and just play through a game normally if you wanted to yeah if you wanted to 
So this is the ending B list is. So um, once you spawn as a, uh, what's the name? I can't remember the name. It's been a, it's been a week or so since I played. I can't remember the names. Is that nine S? I think. No, that's two B. Yeah, so you come see nine S. Talk to him, and then you got to head back to your room. Two B. Yeah, so dash. I like the movement speed on this. You move very fast. Just keep. I think keep pressing R1 or R2 to dash like this. Go into there, and that was continue and get you the ending. A new battle begins. Wow. <laughs> let's do this battle. Save again. Yes. Let's save. So we've just done the A and the B endings. A and the B endings. So next. Now we're going to start getting our character ready, ready to defeat them tough enemies later. I did mention to you, your level zero. Yeah, chapter select, last level's unlocked, but your level zero. So the tough enemies, you'll do zero damage and you won't be able to kill them. That's why I need to level up. And that's a big problem doing this, trying to get platinum with this way. You need to be able to level up and it's there's not many spots, but this way will help you. So we're going to come into chapter 11, 02. 9s chapter 11 02 9s that's the next one guys Do you understand? and i'm just going into my settings and we're going to turn i'm going to turn minimap rotation off and i'm going to turn self destruct on yes you want minimap um, um you may not want minimap rotation off i've turned off minimap rotation just make it easy if you see where i'm going there's minimap in the bottom right hand corner and turn self destruct on because you need that sometimes. Come down here and hack this chest. Hold triangle to hack on your next one when you're 9S. And if you're on auto chips, if you've got them on with L2, you're just, you're, you're invincible. If you're hacking and you've got auto chips on, you're basically invincible, guys. So um, you can just leave them on if you don't do it easy. So once you've got that chest, basically you wanted all them bits from inside, the screws and um, whatever else was in there. And then we're coming over here and we're going into the um, resistance camp now. Yeah, just make your way over here. If you can't get over this fence, the barbed wire, you can just go left a bit more. You can go in between the buildings. So yeah, just heading over here. You can see on my minimap, guys, where I'm going. It's not being rotated. So you can sort of see what direction I'm heading in. And uh, come over here and talk to these two ladies. You want to sell first and you're going to sell all them items at the top. So all of these items. Yeah, you see a little icon on the left, sell all of them. And then the little box icon, sell all of them as well. Now when you get down to the OS chip, never sell that. If you ever sell that chip, you will die by the way. You can sell HUD control. We don't really need that. We also can sell auto weapon switch. Yeah, anything else, don't really sell. Auto weapon switch, guys. Yeah, you can save everything else. Remember, if you sell OS chip, it kills you and you get an ending. And then you want to buy auto collect items. Very important, buy auto collect items from the women. And then we're going to go on here. Weapons, I'm going to make sure I've got virtuous treaty. Equipped with him as well. Then we're going to skills, plug in chips, type A, customize, go into all chips, and then enable auto collect items. Yeah, make sure you enable that and then enable that set. Basically, what that means is items in the world they come, they suck up to you automatically and you collect them automatically. It's really helpful for this because as you're just making your way around, you automatically pick up items which we can sell for later because. Money is very important in this and getting the platinum early with this little trick guys. So now we're heading over here. Again, just keep an eye on my minimap. Yes, I fell down there like a complete fucking numpty. So make my way back up there. Yeah, be careful. If you're doing this, try and do this little shortcut. Don't over jump the ladder. Uh, the steps, sorry. And then up the steps, yeah. Come back on yourself and then up this ladder. And basically, this particular chapter there's a really good way to grind really early on when you're level zero to grind money. So you hack this guy with triangle. Yeah, you hack with triangle when you're 9S. Just go up to him and hold triangle to hack. And we've done him and then we'll make our way over here. Yeah, to glide down like this, just hold jump in. And then he'll let you down gently. I'm just dashing over here 
and we're going to jump this gap. Be careful jumping this gap, by the way. Just double jump and then do the dash in the air. And when that little robot, if you've seen sometimes when I'm jumping in, he like flings me through the air. You hold up and press jump for that. Hold up and press jump. Well, I think if you already dashed, it doesn't work. So you just jump twice and then hold up and press jump. There's another one that we need to hack. There's specific robots on this mission where we need to hack to update the mission. And we're basically doing this to get to the spot where I grind money. And this is the best spot to grind money, guys, when you're level zero. It's probably a good spot anyway, so I don't think many people know about this. So we're just hacking all these robots. That's robot number two. All together, basically, we've got to hack. So we've done one, two. There's, yeah, there's six robots we have to hack. You cannot, you can actually hack five to complete this mission, but if you do all six, that's which, that's what enables this little trick we're going to use to grind money. Yes, a trick to grind infinite money, guys, I'm going to show you. And I don't know if many people know about this. So just hacking again. Remember, if you've got auto chips on, this hacking is automatic. Basically, if you've got auto chips on during this one, um, it's auto, I think it's the auto evade one. You'll evade all the projectiles like during the hacking well automatically. I don't think any can hit you. And what we need to do now, we need to hack one of these ground enemies. And do not get too close to them. Try and hack from distance. And what will happen, you'll get them options and you want to choose remote control. So hack these enemies on the ground from a distance. If they are aware of you, this won't work. You have to hack them when they're not aware of you. And then when they do that, then options will appear. Three options, choose remote control. And then when you're taking control of this robot, come over here and then hack this big dude, the big robot. If you do not do that, you won't be able to hack him. So you can't hack this big robot yourself. You have to hack an enemy, a smaller enemy, and then hack him from the small... Because basically when you... When you've hacked an enemy and taken control of them, if you hack another enemy, you're sort of in disguise still. So that's how you do that. Remember, make sure the enemy is not aware of you, that little robot, when you go to hack him. Otherwise, the options will not appear to be able to remote control him. Once you get there, obviously, you remote controlled him. And to destroy that robot, which we took control of, you just hold L3 and R3 to self-destruct, and that will kill him. Right, so that is three. Yes, I do not know why these guys wear blindfolds. I did not know much about this game. This is the first time I've really played a Neo game. If I'm honest, yeah, it is. It's first time. I only got into this because um, I heard about this uh, chapter select and uh, how quick the platinum can be done and how quick it is currently in general estimates. It's currently like a 70 hour platinum or something. Um, but I just, I had to try and work some out for this. I, I thought, I've got to try. Chapter select sounds... Good to be true, can we get a quick platinum? And it seems we can. So hack this guy. Don't fall off the building so you're going to have to make way back up. Just start hacking as he's running at you and you sort of hack him automatically. You can see, you can see the little gauge around him and that's like your hacking gauge. So over here now and this is the last robot. This will disappear, you can see on the minimap this sort of red radius showing you where he is, the sort of area. That will disappear for this robot because your last one you don't actually have to hack him. But you have to hack the last robot in order to do this money trick. So we're going to hack him. That's it. That's a 6-1. And that will say 100% done now. Um, if you look at... Well, 0%. If you look at the top air defense system operation level, it says 0%. And that's exactly what we want. And you'll get the reward now. Yeah, I fell down there. I didn't mean to do that. So you need to do this, guys. Yeah, get money. It's not... You need a bit of money for a trophy. But get the amount of money we've got gonna get it's not die it's not tied directly to a trophy but it's just we need to do this to make a lot of trophies easier and to also get our level high to actually complete some of the story sections where it's got a tough enemy so you will need to do this so I'm coming over here now and there's gonna be a sort of a safe point sort of thing yeah it's sort of like they're, they're sort of like a little um they look like vendor machines but you can actually enter it and that's how you save your game. These things, they look like vending machines, but you actually interact with them. You can't access them until you've interacted, interacted with it for the first time, guys, and sort of turned it on. But once you've turned it on, it'll be on all the time then. Yeah, forget this bit now. That's a play of bodies. That's when you're online. That body on the right. You can get, like, random loot from them, like, where other players have died. So, yeah, just ignore that bit. I just had to get it out of the way. Yeah, so vending machine there, you activate it access point that's what they called again 
So I'm just going to quick save and I'm going to head over here. You can go straight and get this chest first and then go to that access point. But save, go to the access point first in case this enemy kills you because they're much higher level than you. So this chest, we're hacking it because it's got some good goodies inside that sell for quite a lot. Pristine bolt, new bolt, clean up, study socket, large gear, large battery and a pristine screw all obtained from that chest. So back to the access point after and transport to the bunker. Yeah, to the bunker. I might lob this up with no commentary as well. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure just to lob up the commentary version with the no commentary. And if you come here from Resident Evil 8 Village, I'm sorry it's no webcam on this. I did intend to do webcam. It's just a when I've got a chance to record this, I can't really do webcam at the moment. So you've just got my commentary, I'm afraid. So we're coming into room 210. We're in the bunker now. And we're just going to keep grabbing these items. You see all them items I get? And then what you do, once you grab them, you want to open this menu first and then close it. And then you want to open it again, quick save, and then go into load game and load it back up. And that will basically spawn you back here. And them items will respawn. And they sell for 5,000 each. And you get four of them. So you get 20,000 altogether. So just keep coming all the way anti-clockwise. You can see on the map where I'm going. We're basically going into 2 tenths room. That item on the bed. Remember got auto collect. That's why I'm grabbing it automatically. You saw I pressed options then to open this menu. And then quick save. And the system. And then load. So quick save. And then load again. Make sure you quick save. Otherwise you're going to be loading the game. Where you didn't save them. Items you just got. So you're just going to keep doing this guys and I cut a bit out because you need to do this for about 15 to 20 minutes because first of all you need to get enough, you need to get just over 100 gram first basically. So do it a few times first, basically do it six times to begin with. Do that six times, that's three, I'll do it another time. Yeah, so do that six times, guys, and then by the time you've done it six times, you should have enough to buy these things I want to buy next. And then once you've bought them, you do it until you get over 200,000, and then that will be enough. So straight into 2 tenths room, remember, grab the items, make sure the items show up on the right first when you collect them. There we go. You know when it comes up and shows they're obtained, make sure you see them pop up first. Otherwise, because if you don't, you'll be saving and you will not actually be saving, you're obtaining them. So that's why you have to wait for them to appear. And when I open the menu and then close it just before, that makes them show up as obtained quicker. Yeah, if I don't press the button to open the menu, they don't, The sometimes you can be waiting for about 10 seconds for the obtained notification to appear. But if you press options and then close, it pops up almost straight away. There we go, like that. So after you've done it six times, come to terminal. Remember, I did cut a few times out so if it feels like I've not quite done six, it's just because I cut a few out. Because I'm just mindlessly grinding. So after that, just come into the terminal here. Go and talk to this guy at the shop. And then you want to sell. I'm going to sell all them consumables. They're the ones with the icon now. And then sell all these resources here. The iron ore, pristine screw, large gear, etc, etc. Do not sell the OS chip. Because it will kill you. Yeah, don't kill that little chip. It will kill you. And then come to the bottom and sell all these bits. Now, if any of these, so you sell the hijack boost, sell the stun, sell the combust, and also sell the heal drops up. Now, if any have got like a little black diamond icon on the right of them, do not sell them. Yeah, if any have got a little black diamond, you see like, you only saw for a moment there. Yeah, if basically they've got a little black diamond item, don't sell them, icon. And then you wanna buy from him all these storage options buy all the storage options, there you go, that basically extends your plugging capacity. Yeah, you want to buy all of them guys, buy all of them, and then once that we're going to quick save, and then load game, and we're just going to keep doing the that little grinder thing now, where you run into two tenths room, grab the loot, options, then go back to the game to make the obtained thing show up, and then options game, quick save, and then load game. And you want to keep doing it now, guys, until you get 200,000 money, 200,000 gold. Well, enough to sell for 200,000. Remember, only sell what I said, these things you grab in. And that little console in the middle there, that you just saw the little prompt appear, you can actually sell items there. So if you want to just check how much you've got so far, you can just sell your items there quickly. Yeah, so quick. remember, quick save, 
load and when it comes to selling items by the way the later you are in the game the more they sell for and also the more items cost them upgrades we bought for capa uh, capacity they're always the same so they don't matter but when I say how far you are I mean if you're if you're in chapter 1 to 10 and 2b that's when the items are the cheapest and sell for the least when you're 1 to 10 and you're playing this 9s so sell for a little bit more but when you're on chapter 10 onwards that's the most something will cost and that's the least that's the most something will sell for okay I had to freeze the frame here guys for a minute because I just need to explain this bit to you so you can see the menu there you see hijack boost plus six there's a little black diamond icon at the right of the plus six that means that's the best version of that drop you can get yeah because randomly if you see in them brackets the top four the autos it's got one 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 and the brackets for hijack boost says 14 and then I can't quite see the one after that but then you've got 20 20 20 then brackets mean how much space it takes up in your plug-in capacity and we want the least we do not need heel drops up what we need to make sure we do we need to make sure we save one hijack boost one stun and one combust you need all three of them we need to make sure to keep one of each of them and you want to keep the one with the best the least the smallest number in the brackets basically we, we want the one that takes the least amount of space so remember the ones with the diamonds are the best but if you haven't got a diamond, take one with the smallest number because that means it takes the smallest space in your capacity, guys. Yes, we need to keep hijack boost, stun and combust. Because sell everything else and save your best one. So afterwards, come to this access point. Save your game. And we're going to warp to 13. Yeah, quick save first. Top tip. Yeah, we're going to warp to 1302. 9s accesses the tower and like I say you want to do this once you've got 200,000 plus gold because that's how much we're going to need going forward yeah so do that grinding guys until you have over 200,000 gold and then once you come to this mission we're going to make our way over here yeah every chapter and that let you load up they all sort of start you in a different area or like um, on a different mission and sometimes there'll be different loot around or different enemies around depending on what chapter you loaded so yeah it's very important you always choose these ones that I choose so we basically want to make our way to the if you look on the minimap to the sort of top right now and we want to get into this building because now we want to hack an enemy and remote control them come onto this building and you see them flying enemies over there you see them? There's two of them. You need to hack one of these and remote control them. And remember, to do that, you need to hack them when they're not aware of you. Now, there's sometimes a very, very small window between getting close enough to hack and close enough that they become aware. It can be a very, very small window. So you just got to play about with it. If he sees you and these three options don't appear, then you just got to move away, let him de aggro, and then go to him again. And basically, once you've taken control of him, nobody will attack you until you attack them first and all you want to do now is keep hacking everybody and detonate them do not detonate the robot you're controlling the flying robot but hack everybody and then detonate them like this do not remote control them like I do in a minute or shoot them because the thing is that doesn't kill them first time and you can die very quickly by some of these robots um, but if you hack them and detonate them it kills them instantly without any sort of any risk at all any risk at all yeah subjugate that makes them sort of assist you that makes them like an ally yeah don't do that either just detonate yeah don't bother subjugating I'm, I'm, I'm doing that but it just makes it harder I guess just hack and detonate it makes it a lot easier there we go just get rid of all these enemies here you can actually do this bit without getting rid of these enemies but it can be a little bit tricky basically see that little car that keeps driving around that's a shop but if there's any en any enemies nearby the prompt to interact with them will not appear that's why we need to get rid of the enemies and like I said if you if you know what you're doing and you do it right and you know sort of the limits 
of the enemy's awareness. You can sort of interact with him without killing anybody, but I want to just get rid of him because it's much easier. And because they're such a higher level than you, they can literally kill you in one hit. So I just want to play it safe, guys, and I'm killing everyone. So there you go. Yeah, like I say, you just want to hack them. Don't mess about like I am. Because I've got this enemy now. There's that enemy there that I've got to worry about. And luckily, he's too far away that he becomes unaware of me. So, this guy that's driving around, we're just going to come up to him. Remember, you need to make sure you're in this chapter that I'm on. Come up to him. And you got to shoot him first. And then that'll knock him on his feet. And then open up a shop. And you want to buy anti-chain damage plus three. Only one of them. You're going to buy auto heal plus three. One of them. And you also want to buy overclock plus three. You're going to buy one of them, guys. They're 20,000 G each. You get another trophy there. Come and take a look. And then after you've done that, open up his inventory one more time. Thanks, but don't buy anything. Yeah, just open his inventory up one more time. So you've bought him things from him. You've left his shop and then open his inventory one more time and then leave the shop again. And once you've done that, we're going to come over here because there's an access point we want to activate and we need to warp somewhere. Basically, we need him spawned somewhere else now. And But to start him spawning when you're using chapter set, you have to first interact with him in that first bot. Otherwise, he'll just keep appearing there and he won't move on. So what we're going to do now, we're going to warp to the resistance camp. And we're going to look on the map and see if he's in this area. I'll show you the area where I mean. We'll show you the area. And if, he's not, if he doesn't appear there, all you do, you save your game in the menu and then you load it again. So you can just quick save. Basically, we want him here in this sort of area here. Sometimes he can come over here. If he comes there, that's not the right place. He needs to be sort of in that bottom left-hand corner, just moving around there. He does sort of move around to the right a bit more in the center, but he wants to be in that bottom left-hand corner. And once he's there, like I say, quick save. And if he's not there, if he's somewhere else, just quick save and load the game, because each time you do that, he'll randomly go somewhere else. We want him in that bottom left-hand corner. It's only a few places, so it's not like it should take you long. And once you're in this, once you've got him spawning in this spot, just wait here because he'll just come past here in a minute. He's really fast, he doesn't mess about this guy. He can have a rare stock, by the way. So if that happens, if he's got something different to what I've got, just load up again and come back to him until he's got a stock. Yeah, he'll, he'll come flying past and just shoot him again. You press R1 to shoot that robot manually, by the way. Here he comes. Here he comes up the ramp. Like a little ice cream man, but ice cream man. I don't know, ice cream men, do they do drive this quick sometimes? They've got to sell them ice creams. But you knock him out and open the shop. And you want to buy weapon attack up plus six. You want to buy that four times. Buy four of them. And you also want to buy XP gain up plus six times two. Times two. Yeah, so in total, that will all come to 200,000. That's why I needed that money. Yeah, so weapon attack up plus six. And XP gain up plus six times two. And with them, we'll get 100% extra. So we've come into plugins, set A and customize. And now we want to equip both the experience gain ups plus six. I'm going to equip both of them. And you also want to equip the hijack boost, the stun, and the combo, uh, combust. Combust, yes. And if you can't quite equip it because there's no space, you're going to have to remove something. So you can remove auto use item for now. You won't need that. And always optimize if you're removing stuff because you need to fill up the gaps. You yeah, always optimize. So just be careful what you move. You can move off save points, I guess. That just shows save points on the map. You can move off. Um, yeah, you can move off that. You can also move off objectives, I guess. You don't really need that. You could move off skill gauge as well. Remove that if you need more space. Remember this space. It depends on what your capacity was. And then once you bought on your hijack boost, combust, and the stun. The, when you buy from shop, it always be the most it can be capacity wise. But when you create it in the world, it's normally random. So there we go. Once you've had all them, so I've got experience gain plus six, both of them on me. And I've also got the hijack boost, the stun plus six, and the combust. So I've got them applied, guys. And once you've got them slotted, it's very important you've got them slotted. We're going to head over here now. And we've got another little trick. We're going to be leveling up. We're going to jump from level, what were we, level zero, level one. We're going to jump up to level 35 soon. Pretty mad. Yeah, we're now going to hack a very specific enemy. 
You need that hijack boost equipped because what that does is it increases the level of enemies you hack, it increases their level slightly. Combust will make it so when you hack an enemy, it like sort of explodes into fire and stun will make sure it stuns them. That's what we need it. You'll find out soon for this enemy. You see what I did zero damage then? That's because they're too high level. Look, zero damage. And what you want to do, yeah, come up here on this sort of broken highway and you just want to run past them. Basically, yeah, I didn't mean to do this hack this guy. You won't, know, you won't do much damage at all. Basically, what we need to do, we need to take control of the one with the gun arm, this guy. You see he's got like an arm cannon, like Mega Man on his um, arm. And he doesn't always spawn. I mean, most of the time he will, almost 80% of the time. But if, if he doesn't spawn in here, yeah, you basically need to remote control him like this. And it can be tricky. Like I said, it's a very small window between the enemy being unaware of you and you being able to hack them. Because if they are aware of you, you will not get them options to take control of it. And all you need to do is run up onto this highway, try and hack if you can. If, you, if they all become aware of you, then run straight past them all the way to the end of the highway and basically more to the west. And they come back and they sort of respawn and then you can just try again, come in from a distance, try and hack him again. Remember, it's got to be this guy with an arm. There's actually an access point just below that highway. So if he doesn't spawn in and if when you go back along the highway to get the enemies to respawn, you just can't get this one to spawn. You can always just quick save and then load game to respawn back at that access point because that 100% respawns everything in the area. But normally, just going to the far west on the highway and then back again, you know when you've gone far enough because sort of their icons will disappear from the map. And then you turn around, go back, and it sort of respawn, respawns and repositions them all, and they will appear again. So it's got to be this guy with the arm cannon, guys, and he wants to be. A pro about 57 level 57 or higher like I say it depends that their level it can be random by the way and when you do take control of him yeah you want to come this way that I'm going yeah I'm here talking I'm here talking and well I hope you're focusing on where I'm going yeah so when you possess him you need to come all the way down here where I'm going and yeah I'm I'm jumping backwards just because it moves a bit faster but yeah, I eventually decided that I need, to, I need to show you exactly where I'm going, not where I'm coming from. Because it's a lot easier to tell when you actually see where I'm going, not trying to work out where I'm coming from. So if you can't quite get through that gap, just turn around and dodge back, and I'll get you through there. Yeah, we're heading to the strongest enemy in the game. And um, people actually use this one to um, grind. It's the strongest enemy, but obviously at level zero, you just can't kill him. And this is the way to get around that. You hack... A strong enemy he's still quite strong this enemy we're gonna it's basically a golden bunny he's level 80 and I'm I think I didn't quite remember what level I was was it level 57 but remember if if you hack if you find an enemy that's 52 when you hack him he's gonna be six levels higher and um, so that's why I need hijack boost you can if you had hijack boost plus six and then another hijack boost like plus two for example, you'd have hijack boost plus nine and that's the maximum you can get. So the maximum you can get on hijack boost is plus nine. But I go for plus six because you can fit that on there with stun and combust along with the experience gains which we want. Because that'll double the XP. If you do not have the experience gains equipped, then you only get to about level 27 on this and it can still make the rest of the game pretty hard. That's probably enough if I'm honest, but just make it a bit easier. I'm having us use the experience gains just so we go to level 35 instead of approximately level 27. Just make this upcoming battles a bit easier because when the enemies are higher level than you, they can kill you pretty quick. So just heading along here, guys, into the fairground. The golden little rabbit. Yeah, the golden little bunny. He's in the amusement park. Yeah, he come here. I can't remember if it's chapter 3 or chapter 4 or something. You come here. But each, almost every area is sort of connected in a way. But it can be a little bit tricky trying to find out where each location is actually connected from. Sometimes quite hidden. I mean, like the connection here, for example. But you come through here. Yeah, come in, then coming down the steps. Remember, just keep an eye on my minimap, guys, if you lose track of where I am. I've made it so there's no rotation because it's easier for you to 
actually detect you know west north east south then see exactly what way i'm going so this golden bunny now he will kill you in literally one or two hits one or two hits and we have to be really careful with him the way we're going to damage him is by hacking and with the stun and combust chips that we have that means we'll also knock him back so basically you have to deal with a certain amount of damage before he wakes up there we go since he wakes up hack him as long as you've got auto chips on you'll win the hacking game really easily you'll get to just move around the computer will do the rest it's very important guys if you get killed by this rabbit it means you got to do all that again hack the robot and come all the way back here and do it again so once you hacked him it'll knock him down for a moment and you can normally hold square and get a full clip of them bubbles on him and then once he wakes up hack him again and basically just keep doing that guys so you hack him knocks him down while he's knocked down you hold square as soon as he wakes up you hack him again he'll knock down you square hack him again and just keep doing that guys by the way when you are using your gun if you press L3 and R3 together after you've used it it sort of skips the animation of you sort of reloading yeah you can shoot it and then once you've used that clip he normally pauses you can just press L3 and R3 to skip that reload animation quicker and it lets you hack him a bit quicker I should have said that earlier when we're trying to wake him up because it makes it, it makes it quicker when you try and wake him up so you have to shoot him quite a bit then yeah you shoot when you stop L3 and R3 shoot again L3 and R3 shoot again keep doing it that way so yeah just go and keep hacking him you can see his health goes down quite slowly and he's level 80 so if you're level 0 you got no chance actually no chance killing him I mean this guy he's level 50 is it 57 or 58 and he's not doing much damage by the way the higher level the enemy you possess is when you come to this point the quicker you'll wake him up and obviously the more damage you'll do because there'll be less damage gain because you're close to this level yeah the quicker he will wake up the obviously the more damage you do the quicker he wakes up and if you're on level zero you can't wake him up because you won't be dealing enough damage there was a glitch how to really farm this guy really fast um, but it was patched I believe and this is really the way to do it now when you're low level I don't think many people know this way actually I know some people do use it I know speedrunners use it a lot but yeah a lot of people don't know about this little trick it's how to, it's basically how to kill him at a low level you've got to make sure the robot your control is sort of 57 or higher or you just don't deal enough damage to wake him up so once you killed him yeah I got up to level 34 Make sure you get a loot he drops. We got a power up, a pattern and a machine core because they self quite a bit. After you've killed him, just self destruct to destroy that robot you're in. And now we're the level we need to be, so it's just a little bit more things we need to do. And then we can just crack on with story trophies. So, yeah, come over to this guy. Yeah, so you can go into your plugin chips, set type A, customize all chips, and you can take off the experience gains now and the hijack boost, the stun and the combust yeah you could take them off now you don't need them no more and the experience gains all we needed them for was killing that rabbit and obviously you got 100% more xp so we're going to put hood skill ejectors i'm going to put them hood chips back on which i took off just to make space and we're also going to lob on auto heal yeah we're going to put that on and we're also going to put on auto clock uh, sorry overclock yeah overclock sorry and anti-chain damage yeah optimize will close any gaps so you see exactly how much space you have yeah so apply them and then after that just apply whatever weapon attacks you can fit on don't worry about doing them all just after you put them first three chips i mentioned and removing them other ones that you use for killing the rabbit afterwards just try and apply whatever weapon attacks you can without removing anything else so we're just going to sell all this stuff now all the consumables and all the materials which we have just going to sell all them yeah we get quite a bit of money here so we needed 200,000 because and it's because we're going to get enough here if you ever do need money again for whatever reason guys you have to load that first level we did yeah you can sell hijack boost done and combust if you want vengeance no that's a drop I got from somewhere yeah you could sell experience gains if you want to guys or you may want to keep them it's up to you they were expensive so it's up to you but yeah, we need about 50,000 for what's going to come next. That money we got. Yeah, that's about how much we need, guys. About 50,000 for 
for what's coming next. So as long as you've got 50,000, you won't need any more money. So come over to this access point, quick save, and now we're going to 404. You're going to warp now to 404, the messenger arrives. And you'll start here. Yeah, we're going to start doing the story trophies now. And um, the last sort of extra thing I do is sort of entwined. I've sort of blended it into there. So I'm just getting a bit of loot while we're here. All these things we're collecting, it's just mainly to sell guys, by the way. What is it? That machine had some pretty weird things Yeah, so we're going to get a trophy here. It's almost like it had actual yeah, it's one more thing which I do which sort of, sort of, I mean, leveling up 37 isn't required. There's not a trophy for leveling, but you need to, you need to do this in order to deal enough damage to get other trophies. So you do sort of need to do this. So over here, over to this robot. And, um, yeah, say you want to go to this village. I actually selected don't go and don't, uh, Sorry, I think I selected don't go to this village then. Um, basically, if that happens, he'll make his own way there without you. But basically, you just want to choose to go to the village and then you can follow him there. Just up the ladder. If you remember, we came along here earlier on. We actually came through this village when we were controlling that robot. Yeah, just come back along here. And once you get there, you'll get one of the story trophies. Yeah, just keep going, you're almost there. And we're also going to buy last few few things we need as well from here. What's that? Oh, right. Yeah, so this chapter we spoke, you actually control 2B. And yeah, we actually wanted to control 2B. So like I said earlier, 2B. When you're controlling 2B in chapters 1 to 10, then all the items to buy will be at their cheapest. Will be at the cheapest. Items you sell will be at most expensive. Um, well, sorry, will be at the cheapest as well. You'll get less money for them, basically. So when you want to sell items, you want to be in sort of the later chapters. And when you want to buy items, you want to be in the early chapters and playing as 2B. So there's the trophy we've got, guys. We await your next visit. So you come here to Pascal's Village. That's his name. And you see they're all surrendering. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to fight me either. So come over to this guy, Pascal, and talk to him. Talk to him. Machine, well, machine life form. It is Pascal. Pascal, it is you. So talk to him till you get fuel filter, and then we're gonna just head out of the village and then back in, and that sort of resets everyone. Yeah, this is how you sort of res respawn areas. Just come far enough away. So just come down the bottom of that slope, that ramp, onto the grass, and then head back in, and that should have reset all the people. So come over to the shop now and we want to buy. They're at the cheapest now. You want to buy medium recovery, 50. Yeah, medium recovery, 50. You also want to buy ranged attack, 50. And you also want to buy melee attack up times, 50. Yeah, so you want to buy all of them and that's it. That's all we need, guys. Don't need nothing else. Come to this access point, quick save. Always quick save in case you get killed by accident somewhere. We're going into 11079S. Gets separated. Gets separated. So once you spawn in, yeah, I have very quick loading screens. I'm on PS10. No, I've cut them all out, like I said. I've cut all loading screens out, guys, because they do consume a lot of time. Even though I'm playing on PS5, the cutscenes, uh, sorry, loading screens. I'll try that again. Yeah, loading screens do go on for quite a long time. So I just cut them all out. Cutting out loading screens probably removed about two hours. No, they, they weren't that bad, but I just wanted to cut them. So once you head across this bridge, you get a final wish trophy. And there's a very specific choice you want to grab now. There's another way to do this, but I do it this way because you can get you can go from one chapter, one trophy chapter straight into another trophy chapter. So there'll be dialogue in a minute on t like a sort of data screen. So let's let them pods have a little chat. I don't know what pods talk about these days. So yeah, on, on this little data data screen, you want to choose support A2. Very important, guys. Choose support A2. Basically, this loads the next chapter, which is where you get this trophy. This trophy is for playing as A2. I've tried it in other chapters where we have players are anyway, and it doesn't pop. It only seems to pop at this point. So treacherous blade. That's for playing as A2. And yeah, like I say, it only pops here. Yeah, she's got a bit of a swagger on her, ain't she? You're pretty useless, you know that? So we're going to dash into the woods now because I want to activate the access point there. 
basically in the Forbidden Woods there's a vendor there but he only opens when you complete his little side quest and it's the only vendor I believe which will upgrade your chips to plus eight which is maximum yeah it's the only vendor that will do that yeah they will upgrade your chips to plus eight so just dashing all the way over here access point you see there's that little red dot on the map access point if there's enemies around the access point with a little bubble just remove them from the game like that and activate it quick save as always chapter select 6 05 A2's revenge you were playing this A2 but now we're gonna get our revenge on it yeah this is obviously messing up the story a bit it's all out of order we're controlling 2B at the moment. Yeah, it's all out of order. But, yeah, if you're skipping cutscenes, you probably don't know too much about what's going on. So if you do want to do this, yeah, and um, like I say, get overpowered and then just go through a story normally. I mean, you could do that. Doing this doesn't necessarily mean you're ruining the game, which I can imagine people, a lot of players are going to see this video and go, they're going to think, they're going to think it's ruining the game. It's... You know, I'm just showing you guys how to do this. If you want to, you can. You still own the game. You can still play through the story. You can still spend many more hours on it. But this just showing you how to do this. And I like this. It shows you how to get overpowered as well. So basically, you're just going to defeat 9S now. And what you can do, use items. I think you use a D-pad to do this, if I remember correctly. Always use the melee attack ups and the range attack ups. You can see in the top left, you can see the little um, icons. You see where it says level 34, them icons to the right of the 34. They're the icons from them um, items I've just used. Basically, that increases your attack by like, I think it's like 100% for like 30 seconds. And the other one increases uh, damage of your pod. You know, the guy shooting the um, bullets for 30 seconds as well. Like, yeah, like doubles your damage. That's why I use it. It just makes it much, much quicker. Because we are, we are still going to be low level for some enemies, and that will just help us. So after that little cutscene, jump over here. To break your full damage, yeah, you can just keep pressing L3 and R3 to self-destruct. But obviously, do not self-destruct. Just press it to start a sequence, and then let go, and then press it again. And that breaks your full damage. Or you can just sort of, um, I guess, dodge. Uh, sorry, double jump when you're near the bottom. So we need to come up here now. But we've got a dialogue playing the... Um, wireless intercom thingy so they're just talking to a commander at the moment is that 210? I don't know is it 210 or is it 69? I don't know who that one is I think I think it's 210 but just yeah take a slow swagger up here afterwards and uh, there's an access point basically we're going to use that to warp yeah you get a trophy there the mechanical kingdom yeah get rid of these guys yeah find out what happens if you self destruct I'm about to show you yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. So, if I self-destruct here, actually, it needs yeah, to be in person. If there's dialogue, you will not be able to interact. I've got to wait for it. Yeah, it like destroys all your clothes. It shows your skimpy underwear. Yeah, this game isn't shy, is it? With showing um, uh, a lot of flesh, I guess. It's not shy to reveal a lot of flesh. So, you want to warp now to forest zone center, guys. Yeah, warp now to forest zone center. That's an ex uh, access point we activated not too long ago. Oh, we've got our clothes back. Wow. Oh, and our blindfolds. So come down here now. If I make any mistakes, by the way, guys, it's because of the blindfolds. Do not blame me. Yeah. If I do any shitty mistakes or any stupid deaths or run into a wall, yeah, it's because I got blindfold on. All right. I'm trying. So I'm coming all the way down here, you can see down the south, sort of in the middle, down the south, there's basically a quest down here, and a vendor, and this is a guy that lets you level up your weapon to, well, your, any of your chips to plus six. Yeah, this little guy down here, yeah, so I'm breaking my full damage, this guy here, quest, sometimes you glitch up the canyon, cannon machine, yeah, choose to spare her, do not destroy her, despair her. Yeah, sometimes it don't let you talk to her, but that happens just um, load your game back up when you're back at access point and come back down. So you want to push this crate out of the way, and her mission is down here. And you can come at this bit differently. Um, you could have actually chosen 9S to come through here, 
and he could have just hacked some of the enemies and then as he's controlling them killed some of these enemies along here a bit quicker Look at all the corpses. because a big robot down there does take a lot of time to kill at our level but now what we need to do is kill all these enemies so you got all these little enemies to kill first guys and then we've got the big robot remember to use items melee attack up and range attack up always to begin with Watch out. They're still alive. I'm on. That's it, just keep killing these and then the big dude will appear. Eventually, yeah, get all the loot that they drop. Ah, level 35, there he is. Yeah, because if you were 9S, yeah, I wish they just had proper character names. I guess it's the name of them. It's the name they give them when they're built. Yeah, 9, 9S, 2B, A2. Took me a while to get used to their names actually, I always got them mixed up. Yeah, so just gonna keep attacking this now. If you just leave on auto chips, should kill them automatically, probably go away for a few minutes, make a hot drink, come back. By the way, them chips we've got equipped, I'll just take a moment to explain to you. So I just go over this quest quickly and then we'll get to that. So yeah, if you do get close to death, you can just use items and use one of your medium recoveries or you can come a distance away and you heal quickly like that yeah you can also use items so go medium recovery if you need to that's why I bought the medium recoveries if you lose a lot of health suddenly and you need to heal up just use them guys yeah there's a trophy for completing just a random quest thankfully there's not a trophy for completing every one but that trophy you cannot buy it from the shop I think it's the only one which isn't story related which you can't get from the shop yeah, I think it's the only one which isn't story related, which can't get from shop. But we get that one. We get that one by doing this side quest here. This side quest is a bit longer. There are much quicker side quests if you wanted to look into that. If you wanted to go for like really quick platinum, because you could be at my platinum time by prob at least 20 minutes. At least 20 minutes could be at my platinum time. But I do this quest because, like I say, once you're doing this quest, it opens up that vendor that lets you buy weapon plus eight. Weapon attack plus eight. And then what I do, I buy, well, sorry, he lets you craft weapon attack up plus eight. You don't know about that yet, you'll find out in a minute. I'll show you. Yeah, he lets you craft weapon attack up plus six. And, um, sorry, plus eight. And what that will do, that will let you get 100% extra damage on top of what we have now. So it's great when you're only level 34 from facing tougher enemies. Yeah, it makes you do more damage. You don't have to do that, by the way. Like I say, you can do a quicker side quest if you want to for the trophy. But I chose this one purely for that reason. Just make it a bit easier for you guys following. And about the chips we brought. So what have we got? We've got a lot of them auto chips equipped. Obviously, we've got auto collect. We've also got, we've got auto heal. We've got overclock and we've got anti chain damage. Now, anti chain damage, yeah, anti chain damage, what that does is it doesn't work on most attacks, but when an enemy attacks you quickly in like quick succession, su uh, succession and um, what happens is your character becomes invincible for like a few seconds basically, so no more damage can be done to you. And like I say, it doesn't seem to work with all attack. I find it works with like bubbles. It, it mainly works with an attack that hits you really, really fast, like many, many times repeatedly. It works with them sort of attacks. So that's why it works good with the bubbles. Then the bubbles get thrown from the enemies because they come at you so fast. And that's where the anti-chain damage chip comes in useful. It's it's mainly just a fail save, just to provide less risk. Overclock. What overclock does is when you get a perfect auto evade, it slows down time like this, just like that for a few seconds. And with the auto evade from the uh, auto chips, that's basically every time your character dodge will stop time because the computer always dodges at a perfect moment, so it's great with that. And the other one we equipped was um, auto heal. And what auto heal does, if you don't take any damage for like, if, I think it's five seconds, obviously the level of a chip depends on how quick you heal and how how much yeah the um, the level of that basically the level we've got weapon attack uh, sorry not weapon attack auto heal plus three we after not taking damage for a few seconds 
you heal up most your health automatically well all your health automatically so it's great for that obviously if you're leaving the game like this like away from keyboard and you take damage you'll just heal up yourself after a small period so once you killed him grab the loot from him and I'm glad we got that moment actually just so I can explain that little build to you yeah grab that loot from him and we're heading back over now to that cannon machine I'm going to hammer quest in, we'll get a trophy and we're also going to buy well we're going to craft weapon attack 8 that's what then weapon attack plus 6 times 4 R4 which we bought earlier, you find out in a minute so through here back up on the box talk to this little guy, cannon machine, talk to her yes it's me again, you'll get a trophy for finishing that quest and we can also fuse, there we go, first errant lord of the valley I am that is me the lord is this your valley? Well, I'm now the Lord. Yeah, open a shop and you want to go into Fuse. Fuse, very important, guys. And you want to Fuse Weapon Attack plus 7 times 2. If you've got 4 plus 6s, you can craft both of them and you'll get a 7 each time. And then once you get the two 7s, then craft the Weapon Attack plus 8. Basically, that will give you 100% extra damage, which is the maximum you can get. Now, you've got to change our gear around a bit so customize type A all chips so I've just got to take off weapon attack up plus three we don't need that no more and we want weapon no yeah weapon attack up plus eight yeah sorry I thought I chose the wrong one yeah now we want to put on weapon attack plus eight and that will give you the maximum 100% extra damage so this is what we've got guys so just take a moment you may want to just check with this yeah, auto chain, auto heal and overclock. We've got all them autos and weapon attack up plus eight. Yeah, that attack up plus eight does take a lot of capacity. That's why to make sure you've got equipped only what I have, otherwise you might not have space. And then we brought all them capacity upgrades earlier. But once you've got them, we can just crack on the story now, guys. Pop in the trophies. And then the trophy shop will come right at the end. So just heading back to the access point now. Yeah, I'm trying. You can't quick save it. If you could, you could just quick save and then load the game and it spawn you back there. But fortunately, you can't do that down here, so you have to make your way all the way back up to access point on foot. On foot. But after this, yeah, just be going through the story quickly. Most of the story chapters you can load, the trophies pop normally within a minute, probably, within loading that chapter. But there's probably two or three where you have, it's quite, it's not long, but it's normally like a, a good boss fight you have to defeat first before you get to the point where the trophy pops. Yeah, and loading the next chapter and sort of trying to backtrack to where the trophy pops doesn't work. You've got to make sure you're in the trigger. Basically, you got to be in the right place at the right time. So it's, it's that sort of thing, right place at the right time sort of thing. So just coming back here, all the way back to us. access point to the north. You can see it on the map, mini-map. There we go, access point. No, nothing in that corner. Ah, oh, looks like I'm just getting the item. So, quick save, chapter select, 01. one oh one, oh four, dash oh one, two B. Am I going to pick that? What am I doing? Yeah, so oh one, oh four, dash one, and two B. You want to load that chapter now, awakens. And you get a trophy, resuscitated body. Now sometimes it's quicker to go to an access point, and sometimes it's quicker just for op press options, go to title screen, and then back to chapter select that way. So at this point, the access point is only here, so it's quicker to go over to the access point. Quick save. Yeah, no, you want to go to chapter select. Quick save. Yeah, return to title screen. You could. What you could do there, I could just chapter select it from the access point. I'm not sure why I went into here. So continue. Load that one back up, save file. And you want to go into chapter select. Like I said, I'm sure you can chapter select from the access point. O2, chapter select, O2, O1, landing at the city ruins. And we'll get a trophy here as well after a certain cutscene. You spawn in, then you got to just jump ahead to the building ahead. And when you get to the end of that building, the roof. A basically another trophy will pop yeah just going through all the story trophies now guys like I say and then we'll visit the trophy shop after and buy some trophies 
Right, so any minute now, any moment, there we go. Vestiges of Prosperity. And after you've done that, we come down here and access point. Get off the access point, you filthy scum. Oh, the heads are stuck to it. They really wanted them sweets from the vending machine. Yeah, quick save. Oh, there's access point after activating it. Anyone, 0304, you're her recon. recon. And once that loads up, you'll get a trophy straight away. It's a healthy baby boy. It is. Return to title screen because that'll get us back to chapter select quicker. Remember, guys, if you lose track of anything, I'm going to lob it all in the description. Yeah, City Ruins. Um, loading chapter select again. Chapter select 0504. 0504. Battle with Adam and Steve. I mean, Adam and Eve. So, I've just changed his combat style to aggressive. That makes him. That makes he basically the AI for the ally attack a bit more. As you can imagine, aggressive, that's what it means. Um, with these two, it's. It's sort of like a timed fight in a way. I mean, even when you've actually removed all their health, they just respawn again. And they won't die properly. And to have exhausted all their dialogue. Yeah, so you have to wait you have to wait for them to blaze shout their mouths off to you, try to tell your life story. And then once they've told you everything as long as you've removed all the health at some point, the um, chapter will advance. Machines are weapons. And after this we'll be going to the title screen. We can grow. And then back to chapter select. Eventually, yeah, that's it. Keep killing them. No, I say you'll see how many times I kill him, because he's level 16. We're level 35 now. There's one death. I have no idea who's talking. They're talking and attacking. They're doing well there. I'm behind you. She's got no remorse. Just attacking a man, facing away from her. Not because definitely not bad though, considering they the blindfolded. They killed uncountable numbers. Looks like it's gonna kick me like it's kicking a football. Fucking hell. Do I look like a football, mate? It's I am nine X. No, I am too weak. What could possibly drive Self-destruct, try and distract them that way. Right, he's gotta be about finished now. And now we will allow you to assist us. We were you were we were you were made in it. I'll assist you with going into the afterlife. That sounds good. Right, is she done bloody blabbering? Shouting his mouth off? Nobody cares. Adam. I know. Okay, so it's not Adam and Eve. It must be the big guy. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option. Oh, there we go. The only remaining option to destroy you. That's the last one, I believe. And there's one more just after that. There we go. Yeah, once all that dialogue is gone, guys, as long as you've sort of removed all his health, that'll be the end of that part, that chapter. So you get creation and insurrection. Yeah, yeah. You will get that trophy. So back, return to title screen. Um, we're going to go into chapter select now. Continue, yeah, load up that sort of game and um, chapter select. Copy city 08, we're going to go into 08, 08, 01 dash 01 2B. Searches for 9S. Right, as soon as that loads, we'll get a trophy ruler off the deep. And then what we do after that, we go back to the title screen and then back into the menu again. Obviously, if you're not saving, then you're lo you are losing a bit of progress, but we're not losing anything important, guys. I mean, we're not going to get much XP from them, guys. It's a so low a level. I just title screen, get back to chapter select quicker after the trophy. So chapter select 801-2B, and then 2Bs battle with Adam. With Adam Adamski. So once you spawn here, this is a long sort of fight again where you got to listen to his dialogue before you can properly kill him 
And yeah, just you and just two B and Adam. Just you two. So just make your way over to him and then remove himself and basically just keep just keep doing that until he's finished all his dialogue. This is another spot where I guess you could just leave it on um, away from keyboard if you wanted to. Because she should be self this build should be self sustainable. Yeah, we're playing control. This isn't the new control DLC. It's called automated DLC. Yeah, just keep attacking him. I know it's it's stupid. He's got a bloody scripted dialogue, and then what happens? They just keep warping away when you damage them. Otherwise, I wonder where the meow cats are. There's one on top of that spire to the top left. Right, once he's finished yatting, yapping, again. Fucking this Adam, he talks a lot, don't he? I seek to learn and adopt Imagine if he could fight as much as talks. He'd be a pretty good fighter. Right, so, um. Oh, uh, what's the name again? Can't remember the name. So I'm using my range attack ups and my melee attack ups. I was thinking what a name is from Control. Is it Jesse? Jesse. Jesse wins. You know nothing about Flawless humanity. victory. <laughs> no, not quite. Have He's going to come back. There he is. Plus 28,000. Wow. Okay, we removed that pretty well. I just dealt 28,000 damage in like within, so within 10 seconds, maybe. No, I didn't time it. Right, so finish him off a little bit more. Taking so long. This is so annoying, this battle. It's because you got to wait for his dialogue and stuff. It just will not advance it unless you listen to it. It seems even if you do damage him and deal enough damage, he'll just keep respawning. By a nice time, mate. Looks a bit oversized for you. Looks like a bloody black belt or something. Let us embrace death. He hasn't got a bow tie, okay? He had to improvise. Right, I think this is a proper this is a proper one, the proper assassination. I don't know, he's got no health pull though. I don't have time for you. I need to find 9S. Ah, 9S. <laughs> don't be how long it's taken. Ah, finally. Stay down, Adam. Come to me. Or not to be. Yeah, that, this game says that quite a lot. He's still not down. Oh my god, Adam. I can't believe how long this guy takes. Right, it's not going to survive that, surely. Those who love humans. Yeah, that's a trophy you get from killing them guys. So, afterwards, quick save if you can. If not, just go straight to the title screen anyway, which you would have been doing after quick saving. Um, we're now going to load up which chapter now I wonder chapter 9 03-01 multi leg goliath destroyed yeah you find I'm just trying to go through these now in sort of chronological order obviously to begin with we were all over the place that's because I'm just trying to get our build going but once we're all good now we're just going to go chronological order so just make your way out and you've got a little sort of um, escape sequence now where you have to get away from this factory before it explodes. So just go up the lift with Pascal. Come with me if you want to live. Right, so we take a right. right I don't know, is, would, you, would you call that a left or would you call it a right? It's right as we look at it, but it's left as 2B approaches it from her perspective. So it's making our way down now and through the factory. It's pretty linear now, I mean it is going to take you through it. No need to loot anything. I was tempted to loot that box then, but never did. Never did.
Lava, yeah, it's hot, so try not to fall in. So you have to climb on top of the containers there, and then jump up the steps, come across this walkway. And you just keep coming across here basically, that's all you need to do. Just You just try and get out of the factory. I mean, you have got a little objective marker on the map, but the objective markers on our find, they're not, they don't really help too much, I mean, so it's still not always clear where to go, and you'll get the Iron Soul trophy, guys, once you exit. Once you exit the factory, you get the Iron Soul trophy, and now there's a quick way to get back. There's actually an access point just below us, which we're going to access, and they're going to use that to open chapter select again. And we'll do the next chapter, why not? Get the next trophy. Right, get the hell away from my access point. You bloody metal creeps. Metallic creeps. Where's the magnet when you need one? Lob a magnet at them all. Strong magnet. Now watch them all fly together. Quick save. Always good idea to quick save. So now we're going into chapter 14. A2 and the children. A2 and the children. Yeah, we've almost got most of the story trophies, guys. Almost got them all. Wow. So I'm just making sure A2 has got these weapon sets. Well, it's basically it's got a virtuous treaty because it does the most damage. So A2 saves the children. This is perhaps, well, I guess other than that bloody stupid ending we have to do yet. This is perhaps one of the, one of the uh, longest areas where we have to do chapter select to get a trophy. Yeah, you have to start this chapter right, right from here and um, right from the beginning. And it seems like this one goes on forever because you have. You gotta kill some enemies and then you gotta kill this big fucking. I don't know, it's like a big sort of Megazord type thing, you know, like in Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Yeah, go, go, Pascal and A2. That's what's gonna be happening now. So you kill these guys that come in. Obviously, like always, when you're in combat, pop a melee attack up and pop a ranged attack up just to double your damage a bit more. Remember, they only last for 30 seconds. But the eye kind of in the top left just notify you when it's completely been wiped out. It can use a new one if you have. So let's get rid of these guys first. So hopefully, Pascal will help. We will see. So yeah, get rid of these. So once you've got about 6, 7, or 8 killed, then. Well, maybe it's a bit more than 7, 8. I mean, how many are here? Yeah, I was going to say a tank comes in, and the tank's a pain in the ass. This is a high level, it throws some bubbles at you, and that's where the anti-chain damage ability will come in useful. And of course the other abilities as well, but that's where that does come in useful. It sort of works with that. It works with the bubbles. Each time a bubble hits you, um, you can have invincibility trigger if you meet the conditions, you know, like... There is a lot of enemies to get rid of here, and it's quite annoying really, just to get this bloody trope. <laughs> well, I, I can't complain. I mean, look, we're using chapter 6 to pop trophy, so I can't say it's... I was about to say it's annoying that you have to do all this <laughs> to get a trophy. But, yeah, you have to kill all these enemies, and when the tank appears, the tank spawns a ton of enemies as well. And with the auto chips on, a lot of time you just auto lock onto the nearest enemy and it can be a bit annoying when you fight a tank because you'll also automatically be trying to fight the small enemies. There it is. All you have to do guys is defeat the Goliath tank to proceed to the next bit. So you can either get rid of all the smaller enemies first, get loads of random drops which you can sell for more money and you'll also level up a bit in the process because they are level 50. Or you can just focus straight on the tank. If you do focus on the tank, just be careful guys. Because all these bubbles that are coming out, yes, they can kill you very, very quickly. Overclock, uh, sorry, not overclock, anti-chain damage, this is where it can come in useful. Because if you get hit by a few bubbles too quick, then you'll go invincible for a few seconds, and it comes in useful for that. But if you do take damage, just use medium recovery, like that. Your medium recovery, guys, just focus on this Goliath tank. You can see its health is going down a little bit slow. But what you might want to do here is just attack the tank manually because if you've got auto chip on, you'll keep 
locking onto the wrong enemies. So yeah, here. You can leave auto attack on, but just press attack manually yourself to attack a tank. Obviously make sure you've always got consumables active, you know, like melee attack up and range attack up. Yeah, these bubbles kill you so fucking quick. <laughs> kill you so quick, guys. I think I've, I've stood here once without... It's before I was using anti-chain damage and I died literally in like a few seconds. I wasn't being careful. And that's because I didn't have anti-chain damage on it. And I know I used that and I, I stand there quite a bit invincible because you'd be invincible and then obviously it wear off and then it'll trigger again. So just try and grab a loot. There's the machine course, you know, like the... Um, like the globe, like the half globe that you can find, the half of a sphere. If you can get them quickly, because after that little scene, everything's going to despawn. Yeah, basically, as soon as you've destroyed that tank, you've got a little moment where you sort of limp around. You can quickly just grab a bit of loot, but because shortly after this is going to happen, and you're going to spawn here, and everything will despawn. So you can block with this big robot like that. This is what I meant about like the Megazord. I think it's more like a factory ass animated it's transformed more transformers had all these on Resident Evil 8 Heisenberg yeah so you can block I forget the controls I think block is R1 or R2 and then you can attack with triangle and I think attack is triangle and R1 and then you block with R2 maybe but you can block guys and what you find with this robot, do not spam buttons. Basically, your your robot will not attack until it's sort of recovered from a previous attack, and it takes quite a long time to recover. There'll be a long wind up when it attacks, and you've got to wait for the robot to go back to like a, a normal stationary position before you can actually press a button to get him attack again. Otherwise, when you just spam it, it's just not going to work properly. So, you've got to defeat Engels basically now and it's quite it's quite simple just as soon as you can attack just always make sure you're attacking and you should always get him first yeah so as soon as you can attack attack and you always get him first and like I say always wait until you can actually attack again before you press the attack button and it should work a lot better rather than just spamming it and here if you if you time it right you can hit him as he approaches you because he'll be attacking you and it does do a lot of damage. You can block his hits, by the way. If you press the block button, you can block his attack. So you can let him attack, block it, and then attack him like counter attack. Or you could just do this, what I'm doing. Um, so you, you sell one of his attacks, he does like a vertical slash. And then this one, he does like a um, horizontal sort of slash. Um, so it depends what one you want to use, really. But the um, sorry, horizontal jab, that's quite good because you sort of lunge forward slightly. It's got quite a long reach. And then after that, you'll be as Pascal. By the way, if you do fail anything, if you like die as that big robot, you do have to do all that bit again. A bit annoying. I just mean this part on the um, upper platform where you have to kill a Goliath tank and stuff. You'd have to do all that again if you do not get to kill that other robot in time before he kills you yeah you'd probably have to do all this bit again so what's coming here is Pascal you take control of A2 again and you'll get dialogue option here I don't think that the option actually matters what you choose here but I always choose just to erase his memory because then you can actually access a special shop shop with him later I don't access it but yeah just say right do it yes do it and once you do that, you have a little hacking sequence. And um, as long as you've got auto chips on, once the force fields drop, you'll be able to kill all these really, really quickly. Yep. And um, once you've got all five defeated, that should complete that chapter, I believe. Yeah. And um, that's this is the longest chapter, I think. Well, I know, I mean, you've got one of the endings. One of the endings, you have to literally sit all the way through the credits. And you can't just leave the game on. The credits say you have to actually be playing. It's a bit annoying. So credits, they take about 20 minutes. I do skip to the end once I explain what you need to do there. 
but them credits are a bit annoying that's for the true ending by the way yeah so once you've hacked this you'll come back here Pascal thank you and you get a trophy farewell Pascal it's been nice but I've got to go mate right so uh, load is oh a loading screen which I didn't cut out guys ah oh, it's only a quick one that's probably why yeah so oh yeah he gets data screen afterwards obviously don't really matter what you choose well it's only one option it's not like you've got much choice you can choose monitor 9s or the other one monitor 9s it's up to you what one you want to pick I picked the first one so you spawn here it's 9s afterwards yes get that blindfold back on he does not want to see the world. It's a disgusting place. Cannot bear to look at it. So there's the two women. Popola and Devola. Popola. Devola. It's a me. I'm a 9S man. Oh, I'm just going to casually walk away. Yes, I'm too cool. Too cool to run. I'm just going to walk slowly. Ah, no, I'll win. No, no, nobody's watching me. So, quick save. Chapter select, guys. Uh, we're going to go to 16, 04, A2, and the machine siblings. 16, 04, A2, and the machine siblings. Ow! What the? What is this abomination? He's got loads of little ones attached to his arms. How much body parts were destroyed in the process of making it? August. I can actually read his name this time. So he's level 60, as you can see. So, it would take you a few minutes to kill him. Just keep attacking him. Uh, remember to always use the melee attack up, guys, and the range attack ups. Yeah, always remember to use them. Right, he, he goes down quicker than what that big dude was. He, do you remember that side quest we did on that huge robot? He took ages to destroy. But it's one level 60, he goes down a bit quicker. I think it's because them big robots are sort of like brutes. They've got obviously higher defense or higher HP. One of the above. Okay, so we're going to shoot the guys with the hats on, the cooks, the chefs, there they are. Oh, it's buckets. They've got buckets on their heads. And then you can either focus on the little enemies so you can get like drops and stuff if you want, or just focus on the boss to end it quicker. Oh, I'm just letting the computer do its thing. Because what he did with Goliath tank, uh, tank, similar to that, when there's loads of enemies around, you keep locking onto ones you don't want to attack. You can just attack manually the one you do want to. And once we kill August, we'll get a trophy, guys. I think a trophy for this bit. And then that sort of be all the other than the two endings. That would be most of story. Well, no, three endings even. That would be most of the story trophies, I think. Oh, no, there's one more where we've got like a. I know we've got like a defense section. And then a bit after that. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, I might be straight after this because I know this. I know it's a chapter which ties into another one. So, it's almost done. August at level 60. Yeah, he's got quite long arms. Right, I don't know why I'm taking time to kill him small ones. I was saying to you, you could get platinum much quicker than what I'm doing here. I do it in 2 hours 30, if you look on the PSN profiles. I think it's 2 hours 31, but I did have to pause the game for... I literally had to pause the game for about 20, uh, 15 minutes, guys, so... I should have got platinum in about 2 hours 15 and you could remove a few of these things here you could remove a few things which I do just make it a bit easier like for example getting weapon attack plus 8 you don't necessarily have to do that um, experience gain as well you don't necessarily have to get the experience gain so if you don't buy that that would mean you wouldn't have to farm as so much money and that would be quicker yeah because all that does it gets me it just gets me a higher level that's the thing but the thing is you'd have to be a bit better at the game in order not to die during some of the fights because it'd be more riskier if you've been a low level and taking more damage and whatnot. So we just got our trophy guys, just this. Got our trophy. 
And I left that in so I could show the trophy pop. I hope I didn't cut out any trophies. I hope not. Yeah, so after that chapter, it lobs you straight into the next one, which we need to do. And now we are 9S. 9S, activate. Ah, oh, Golden Bunny, see him in the background? Yeah, but we still won't be able to kill him. It's a shame, because this would be the perfect spot if you're high enough level. You just start this chapter, run up to him, kill him. Quick save. Um, oh, sorry. Quick, uh, quick save. Yeah, quick save. Load this chapter again. Kill him again. Yeah, it won't be too bad then. But yeah, all you can do while you're low level is run back, uh, possess that enemy, and then run all the way back there. So just make a way up here. Take a left here now. Yeah, run past it. There it is. No, where am I going? Where are you going, mate? I've got disorientated here. Yeah, there we go. Got there in the end. Yes, yeah, a ladder down here. You get a park access key. Yeah, up this ladder, guys. Got there in the end. So basically in the sewers. This will take you back to here a little bit quicker. You can also go through amusement park if you remember the route back through there. But yeah, this basically takes us here. You remember where we are in a minute. And just be careful you don't fall down that big. There is that hole there which you fell down right in the start of the guide. So you need to come over to all these sort of towers with the fields around them. And you need to press circle to activate the subunit access. And then you need to hack it. You need to hack all three of these like this. You access them and then you have to hack them. And you complete the hacking sequence on each like so. And yes, that will release that tower. There you go, release the force field. Then go to the next one. These are basically like all the locks to access that main tower in the middle. Yeah, these are like locks for it to access that main tower. So just get rid of this again. And uh, another hacking. There we go. And that will release, release that lock. And then last one over here. There we go. And that will release this lock. And then we'll go to that big one in the middle. There's a lot of enemies that drop down here, by the way. And um, you don't have to kill them all, you have to kill the first wave, but they'll, after that it will keep spawning and you're supposed to hack the thing in the middle while your allies are killing the spawning enemies. But if you wait until the last moment and just kill the enemies, the two allies here will help you make it a bit quicker. Yeah, you can actually go up a few levels here, so this could be another good farming spot. Yeah, you could go up a few levels, but you got to be careful because it, it literally takes you about 60 seconds or so to hack this one. And um, if you leave it too late, you will not be able to hack it in time. So what I do, once able to, I just go straight to hacking. So the first wave, like I said, you have to kill them. Yeah, this first wave, kill them. So I'm using my melee and range to attack up. Yeah, you'll kill these guys pretty quick. They're level sort of 45-ish. So you kill them pretty quick with all that gear we've got. That's it. Once you got rid of the first wave of enemies, guys, your friends will come and help. And once they come and help, you need to hack the big machine in the middle now. Yeah, go and hack the big machine now. There we go. Just hold triangle. Yeah, wait until your friends come down and come do this. The enemy shouldn't attack you at this point because they're focusing too much on death and pops over there. But yeah, it takes a long time to hack. But I guess at least we don't have to go into the like, little hacking minigame. That minigame for hacking is pretty cool at first, isn't it? It's pretty cool. But it does, yeah, it does get a bit annoying over time. If you play through the game normally, you don't actually access that hacking minigame until a good, probably 10 hours or so into the game. Depending on if you take your time through it. Yeah, so it's quite a while until you get the hacking tool. And there we go. I guess once you've done this, oh, here's the hacking minigame. There is one. Yeah, make your way to the top. Sometimes when you've got these blocks like this, you have to shoot out of the way. Sometimes it's quicker to go manual, by the way, as opposed to letting the computer aim for you. Because you can focus on one spot better, whereas the computer seems, I don't know, computer, I think computer shoots a little bit slower. Because when I've done certain bits on computer, I've always seemed to remove the blocks quicker when I'm doing it manually, as opposed to when the, um, computer is controlling it 
So these balls just got to destroy them when the barriers drop down. And we haven't got much time left actually. It's what, 57, uh, 15 minutes left. Yeah, we've just, well, maybe about 20 minutes. We've we've got the ending. We've got the endings. And then after the endings, we're going to do the trophy shop. The trophy shop's cool. They just lets you buy trophies. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe you can buy trophies in a game. Imagine if every game had that. Uh, just, uh, I guess that would just ruin it. Yeah, here, it doesn't really matter what you pick on this one. But after that, you'll spawn in this small room and you'll get a trophy, Crime and Punishment. Now, the next chapter actually spawns you here, but it doesn't pop that trophy. You have to do that part before in order to get a trophy, Crime and Punishment. And once you get out of this door, you should be able to quick save and then, well, go to title screen. I think you can quick save after this. Yeah, you quick save and then system and warp to title screen, guys. Yeah, any loot that you find during this chapter, if you want to keep it, you're going to have to find an access point or quick save. Otherwise, you can just quit the title screen, guys. So now, we're going to go into, back into chapter select. And 17, 9S and A2. Yeah, this is it. Last three ending trophies, guys, before a trophy shop. So 9S and A2, we're going to go into LAT. Basically, this is a very, very last chapter, and it's a question mark. And now you get to pick what character you control here, and each one will lead to a different trophy, by the way. So do have to come back in here and do it again. So to begin with, yeah, I choose A2 to begin with, so yes. And basically, you've got to destroy him now. Um, obviously be careful he doesn't kill you yeah this is where this is a bit which you just can't do if you're level zero you just can't do it you'll be doing zero damage to him until I don't know what the range is whether you got to be like within you know the the cap at which point you do zero damage I'm not sure where it is um, whether it's like within 20% of the levels uh, something like that but this is why we have to get to a high level because of this fight and then other few fights we've done. There's not many fights which you have to do for Platinum using this um, cheat. But yeah, these few are the ones you have to do and that's why you need to level up so that you can defeat the enemies quickly and without too much trouble. So I'm just using my auto. He will start trying to hack you to be the bloody hacker. Yeah, he will start trying to hack you at times and if you stay still, he'll hack you more. Um, but if you move around a lot, it seems to hack you less likely. So just remember that, guys. Bear that in mind. And so another hacking thing. Yeah, this is what will happen when he hacks you. This will happen. Yeah, if you stay still, that's normally when he hacks. So if you just, as long as you keep moving around, he shouldn't be able to hack you as much. And remember to keep the melee attack ups and the range attack ups always active guys. I've actually got some, they've actually worn off. I'm looking at the top left now and they're not active. I need to actually reactivate them. I'll click on in a minute. It's probably why my damage has gone down slightly which I'm dealing to him. Yeah that um, overclock's really great ability. On an auto evade it slows down time, it's awesome. Right, if I used the melee attack and range attack ups, I'd kill this guy a lot quicker. I'd have been dealing double damage by now. Right, there we go. These are quite good when you, when you try to do them hacking games yourself. They're actually quite fun, actually. But like I say, you just do get a bit sick of it. They're good at first. Right, let's kick him off a fucking cliff. I actually killed him one time when I was level zero. I think a, a glitch happened, and I think somehow he flew down that hole. You know that big hole in the middle? You can't miss it. Yeah, I think he flew down there. Somehow, I was on it was on auto, and I wasn't looking on screen, and then he was dead. And it didn't click. It didn't click on first. That's the very first time. 
before I actually, before I actually played with the game and found out you know what he can and can't do and that you can't actually damage him yeah I was looking off screen and um, he just died I don't know so there may there may be a way to um, do this platinum without having to level up if you can sort of glitch the enemy's deaths but I don't know if it's repeatable it may have just been like a one in a million thing so um, I did try to repeat it but nothing and I gave up so here we are, doing it all legit, in a way, because I know a lot of people not call a cheat legit. The thing is, the way I see it, if it's included by a developer, then I'd, I'm not worried about using it. I bought the game, I do everything that's, I want to use anything in the game that's at my disposal, you know, I want to use anything. I don't like to glitch too much, glitch and that because that's not how they intended but anything in the game that develop intended I will use it guys I will use that so this is that ending and you'll get a trophy for this and then we just need to go onto chapter select and basically do that again beautiful world yeah it don't look like it at this moment Right, so um, yeah, you've acquired them new items, save your game. Whenever you've like got an ending and ask you to save your game, always save, guys. So I'm on one hour fifty eight so far, and um, it's here. Well, so, uh, I'm about to pause the game fifteen minutes. It's a shame because I was trying. To get yeah, so you just load the same one up again, guys. Chapter six, seventeen. No, you want to go seventeen oh nine nine S and A two. Yeah. There's different chapters there now. You want to load up 1709, 9S and A2. The same one again. Them X ones have just been added. We're basically just A2's ending. And now we're going to select the other one. So 9S. We're going to be 9S now. And then we'll defeat A2 and we'll get that ending. Yeah, we'll get that ending. Yeah, I can't believe. I, I was really trying to get under two hours. And I wasn't far off. Um, yeah, so select 9S. Yeah, it's... It's probably just before this where, I'm, where um, I had to pause 15 minutes. I, I couldn't help it. I, have to, I had to stop 15 minutes. So, um, But if we grind... You know the grinding which we do? It's a shame that we have to grind for that money. Because you need that money to... Um, if you don't... You don't need that money, but... It makes life easier, like it lets you buy all them storage upgrades that we brought, and it lets you buy them consumables that make you do deal more damage, it lets you buy your health potions, plus other stuff that will make your time a bit easier. So you probably don't have to grind as much money as I did, or buy some things that I, I did either. If you've, if you've done a bit of practice with this, just get used to combat and that, so you can actually complete a lot of the parts easier. Then you could probably get by at lower level, with lower gear um, and do it a lot quicker the 2 hours 30 I do this in it's not a definitive time it's not like the lowest time you can do it it's the fastest recorded time so far but I'm sure some people will beat me especially when this guide goes live and people see the sort of optimal way to do it this is an optimal way. I've just done a few things extra guys to make it easier for you. The way I've done the chapters, the chapter trophies, that's all done in the correct way. I did play with loads of different chapters, taking notes, trying to work out the best time to pop each trophy and where. So, but like I say, this will all be in the description guys, if you want to be sure you're doing everything right. So yeah, I'm just kicking the shit out of A2 right now. And yeah, you see this one's sort of a, a side scrolling battle. But um when you control A2, it's like a 3D, 3D one. It's just the same because A2, she keeps fucking warping around. Fight! <laughs> Stop being a coward and dashing away. Sesame's better use and cheats. I'll keep my mouth shut. Fatal system error detected. So once you've done A2 and 9S on this chapter, basically I've got both her endings. The true ending unlocks and you sort of go straight into it. You sort of go straight into it or it unlocks in chapter state as well. 
So yeah, you've done 9S on that chapter, then you do A2. And once you've done them both, whichever is the second one, which you're doing, their cutscene will, um, well their ending will lead into the true ending. And the true ending is where it's, it gets a bit annoying. And for the true ending guys, you need to make sure you go online. It's probably the only part on, in the game where, for platinum purposes, where online really matters. Basically, if you're not online, you've got to do this part in the credits, and it's actually quite difficult. It's quite difficult, but if you go online, every time you die, you get closer and closer to the game asking you if you want help from, you know, just from like a sort of basically from the community online. And what it does, it spawns extra sort of enemies to help you and it makes it a lot easier but you have to be online for that to happen so you can try and do it with, um, offline but it's really, it really gets really difficult guys you're best off just going online I'll show you so afterwards accept the pods request say yes say yes to the request and this is leading us straight into the true ending now straight into the true ending yes on this you want to choose yes as well yeah rewind Play let rewind. The end of your hair. Yeah, you've got all the credits coming down, and um, you have to. It's it's like a little um, uh, what do you call it? You know, like asteroid. Well, I guess it's like a hacking game, but um, yeah, you got to destroy all these now. Yeah, you can shoot, and this goes on for about twenty minutes. But if you just keep dying. Yeah, just keep dying guys. It gets you all the extra abilities quicker. Basically, you can go through it, then after about seven or so deaths, that's when you can actually get asked about spawning some help. But it only happens if you're online. Yeah, this message received. And whenever you get asked if you like face defeat or anything, always sort of choose a response that says, you know, signifies that you don't want to leave just yet, that you're not finished. Because if you do, yeah, like, is it all pointless? Don't choose yes, you want to choose no. Because it's trying to make you leave. <laughs> yeah, and I think if that happens, it just spawns you back at the title screen and you don't get its ending. Yeah, so every time it asks you something, do not, well, do not agree unless it's sort of saying, you know, something that... Still shows that you want to play a game still. Look, do you admit there's no meaning to this world? No! Do not give in. Do not Do not give in to him. Say no. Director. Yeah, you definitely want to kill the director. Give up here. No, do not give up, guys. Accept offer. Yeah, and when you get the option for accept the offer, say yes, and you'll get all this help. There we go. This is the online help which you can get. And this is which makes it so much easier. I mean, look, you're firing like six times more bullets. And this will make it so much easier now. So you now just need to get to the end of this bit. Just keep destroying all the people who made the game. Yeah, anyone that, basically anybody that made the game, kill them. Get rid of them. We don't want them. Yeah, DC Douglas, you're gone. Pod 153, yeah, get rid of you. Right, and eventually, guys, yeah, I cut most of it out because all it is... It's killing people on the credits. Oh shit, Preston, the CEO is a mini boss. Yeah, make sure you kill them all, even the mini bosses. Get rid of them all. And that's it, yeah. You get eventually get through the credits, you'll kill everyone, including the president. And after that, you'll get his trophy guys leaving for the new world. And that is all the story trophies. Oh, and the mines that emerged. No, so you want to say nope, nothing at all. Say nope, nothing at all. Because if you do choose something, it will delete all your safe data, which you do not want to do. Yeah, so choose nope, nothing at all. Because what it does, it, it lets you help people online, but it deletes, deletes your safe game, which you do not want to do. So choose that same option I chose. And now you want to go into chapters... Basically, we're going to a chapter now where we can buy all the trophies. That's what we're doing now. So you want to go into 15. Uh, sorry, not not 15. You're going to um, 13, 01, 9S Awakens. 
Yeah, so going to 13.019S Awakens. Got there in the end. And now we're going to do the trophy shop. Now, you need to be careful here because what happens, the game normally only auto saves, yeah? Well, it saves when you access a control point or something, an access point. But with the trophy shop, it saves your game as soon as you purchase a trophy. So in order to get money back, because otherwise you'd have to farm all the money, yeah, what I do, we buy some at then we load the game to get all the money back, buy the others, because once you've got a trophy, it'll become inactive, you can't buy again, obviously. So just get out the um, bed area, and over to the access point, guys. Quick save, make sure you make a quick save, and... And, um... Yeah, save your game as well. Just double check. Save your game into a new slot as well. There we go. So, quick save, and then save your game into a new slot. So you've got two slots with the same save now. Yeah, you've got two so slots with exactly the same save. And now you want to sell every single thing except for the OS chip. Do not sell the OS chip, guys, because it kills you. Sell everything else. And what's going to happen, you know we made them, you know we just made an extra save. What we're going to do in a minute, we're going to, once we've sold everything except for the OS chip, we're going to make a save. So we've got a save with all this money that we're going to get from that. But we've also got another save where we haven't sold nothing. And that's just in case you want to keep playing the game after this. So we've just made two saves. One of them, never touch it guys. Do not touch it in case you mess them up. You may want to back up your game here just in case, back up your game just in case you make a mistake and accidentally overwrite it. But yeah, you want a safe where you haven't sold anything. So one of them two safes which you've got right now, never touch. I know I've said that so many times, I just want to make sure you're aware how important it is. Never overwrite the other safe because you want to save that in case you want to replay a game afterwards. So safe game, we've sold everything remember. We're going to save over one of them two we just made and we're going to save in the last slot and so my top one 214 that's my original i'm not going to touch that i want to keep that without the item sold and this thing here with the ball head football head he's got the trophies wow look at this we're popping trophies guys left right and center circle of death cherish our resources it's a shame you can't buy every single trophy here Imagine how quick the Platinum would be then. The Mercenary. Uh, basically, just keep buying them until you've got no money left. And then once you run out of money, what we do is, like I said, it, it auto-saves as soon as you buy a trophy. So what we need to do, we need to load that game we just made a save where we had sold everything. Yeah, so remember, do not touch, this, do not touch a save your original one, you want to load that save back up. You made two saves basically when you had sold everything and you want to load up the other one now. And as soon as it loads up, you have your money back. Then you want to overwrite that safe where you bought the trophies on. That's it, so you've always, so you've always basically got a save where you sold everything but haven't bought any trophies, so you've still got all your money. And then back here with all your money, request unlocking the trophies. And then just buy some more. There we go. Tools of the trade. Yeah, just keep buying them now until you've got enough money. This takes about, I think it's about three or four reloads. I have to do this in order to pop all the trophies. But it's, this is crazy. I just can't, I just can't get my head around this. Why is there a trophy shop? Are they allowed, are they allowed to do this? I've never seen any. I, I've just never seen anything like this. So that's all that money. So. Like again, that will auto save. So now what we're going to do, we're going to load that back to that other safe game where we had sold everything but hadn't bought any trophies. So we've got all our money back. And then we're going to, once this loads up, we're going to save into another into that other slot again, overwrite it basically. So we've got another two saves with all our cash. And you just got to keep doing that, guys. The important thing you got to bear in mind is you want to you want to keep a original save in case you want to play a game afterwards. And whenever you buy a trophy, the game auto saves, so you lose all that money unless you load a previous save before you bought any trophies. 
Yeah, so request unlocking, you know what? Yeah, trophies. Don't be afraid to say. The shame. Too, too ashamed to say. Don't want to say the word trophy. Yeah, so buy all these, you know what? Yes, one there. Some of them are really expensive. That's why you need to sell everything. Look, 200,000, some of them. And there's going to be one trophy left. I guess it'd probably be nice to pop platinum on something a bit better than this. <laughs> you know, a better trophy, like perhaps one of the endings. But it's what it is. So I'm just loading up that other safe game where I, I had sold everything but I hadn't bought any trophies yet. Loading that one back. And again, as soon as it loads up, we're going to overwrite that last safe where we just brought all the trophies on. So we've got two again where everything is sold and um, nothing. It's purchased trophy wise you know what so it may there's a lot to explain here guys there is a lot to explain and I know when I first played this game it took me a long time to get my head around the mechanics and everything so if what I'm saying doesn't make sense or something or I'm just perhaps not explaining it well because I am a bit of an idiot sometimes when it comes to explaining things it's all in the description so if you're unsure look in the description guys and it's all gonna be in there there is Final words. We got them all. All the trophies. Let's self-destruct and uh, destroy this game now. Don't need to play it no more. No, it's... This looks like it's going to be a really good game. There's a lot of cool mechanics in this and the way the game plays. And, um, I mean, it's something you don't really see every day. I mean, of course, especially with the you-know-what shop. The shop of you-know-what. Yeah, I will not say that word no more. I'm ashamed to say that word. Um, but that's it, guys. Yeah. Platinum trophy in near... Automata. So you can just load that original save to get all your save data back. And and you're good to go to carry on with whatever you want to do. Go through a story in your own time. Farm the rabbit again to it level 99. It's up to you. Yeah, but that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I see you on the next video.